Hi guys, Jamie Hinks here from DraftKings. I've got my picks for the British Open later on this week at Royal Troon. So first up, we've got Dustin Johnson, $12,000. Big price, but is there a player that's in better form in the PGA or the European Tour at the moment? I don't think so. I think he's the best golfer around at the moment. He was second back at the Open back in 2011, so he has played well on Lynx courses before. Plus, he was tied seventh, tied fourth, and of course, he won the, the US Open last time out. That's his last three majors. 91.6 fantasy points per tournament. Plus, US players have won the last six Opens at Royal Troon. And, I mean, you wouldn't go wrong by putting him in your lineup just for that reason. Next up, we've got Zach Johnson, 8,100. They might be brothers. I'm not sure. He won here last year, so I don't think he'll be highly owned for that reason because people are going to steer away from him because they'll think no one's going to win it two years in a row. Top 10 at the Open in three of the last four years as well. So, I mean, he's probably going to make the top 10 and he's going to make, the, more importantly, he's going to make the cut, which means he'll be scoring points all weekend. His recent form's really good too. He's had a top 10 at the WGC Bridgestone and also at the US Open. Then next up, we've got Mark Leishman, 7,400. We've got an Aussie in the lineup. He's so always up there in the always been up there in the open in the last few years, and if you look through the stats of all the last few opens, he's always there. Fifth, tied second in the last two years, and I mean, if you go by that um, calculation, he'll win it this year. I don't think he's going to do that well, but he will do very well for you here. He's slowly learning how to be an absolute beast on Lynx courses. Plus, he's made 15 out of 19 cuts this season, and in his last five PGA tournaments, he's made the cut. He's going to be there for the whole weekend, and he's going to be scoring you points for that whole time. Next up, I've got English, Danny Willett, 9,200. Made the cut twice at the Open in his last four appearances. He's done nothing that's been that amazing, but tied 37th at the US Open, and of course he won the Masters earlier on this year. He's really enjoying major championships. 72 fancy points per tournament. Plus, he's missed two cuts in a row, which is quite worrying, but I mean, this may mean that he's lower owned as a result. Who knows? It looks like he's doing well at majors. I think he's scoring points for you there. So, fifth player in the lineup, Francesco Molinari, $7,000. I think leaning on European players is quite important in this tournament. I mean, I think if, if a US player wins it, there'll be European players there or thereabouts. He's had a lot of top 20s at Open Championships in the past. Plus, his recent form saw him get a second at the Open to France. I don't think you're going wrong there. Just make sure you pick Francesco and not Eduardo. So, my sixth pick is George Kurtzer, 6,100. I think he's, uh, he'll be under the radar. He's had a couple of top 20s at the Open Championship in the past. Ernie Els does well here. Louis Oosthuizen does well here. Charles Schwartzel does well here. They're all South African. Kurtzer could be another South African that does well here. He's very boom bust. He has a tied 21st at the WGC Bridgestone. He was bad at the BMW Championship. He was very bad last week at the Scottish Open. But I think you're going to have to have someone at this price. Why not Kurtzer? So, guys, that's my six-man lineup, as you can see, for the British Open, which is starting off this Thursday. Enter the millionaire, make it. You can win a million dollars. It's not bad, is it? I've been Jamie Hinks from DraftKings. Thanks.